pyramidion. As we know, this pyramidion it is something like this sleeper safe. Okay, pyramidion nucleus will be the, here, and then see their body. All their body is covered by a small hair-like structure. So this small hair-like structure is known as the cilia. Okay, cell organelles will be present here, and the function of this cilia is see they will this cilia hair-like structure will be vibrating slowly. They will vibrate. Okay, and then they will bring the food substances into their gullet. This gullet, to this gullet, they will bring the food substances inside, and the food substances is ingested. Okay, the bringing of the food substance in, inside their body is brought by these uh, cilia, that is small hair-like structures. Okay, and another function of this cilia is it help in locomotion okay so in the water they will live and then they will move this cilia okay just like rowing okay and then with help of this woman of this cilia they can move from one place to another place okay so this about the ciliated and the fourth one is sporozoans. The sporozoans they have infective spores like stees and life cycle. Yeah. They produce these spores in their life cycles. Their life cycle is not completed in only one stees. They have many these stages they have. And during their life cycle, the infective stage is known as the spores. For example, plasmodium, okay, which causes this malaria. We know that malaria is caused by this plasmodium. Different species of malaria are there: plasmodium vivax, plasmodium falciparum, plas plasmodium malaria. Okay, these are spreaded by this female Anopheles mosquito. Okay, so their life cycle is completed in two hosts. One is in the uh, this human being, and another is in the that female Anopheles. So during this life, their life cycle, they produce this spore, spore-like stees. So, this type of organisms which produces spores like structure in their life cycle, they come under this sporozoan. So, example is that Plasmodium. I have given an example. Plasmodium is a genus species name. Plasmodium bivex, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium malari, like this. Okay. In this way, we have this four. Okay. Four different form are found. So, in this way, this uh, kingdom, kingdom protista, is divided into or form different groups. There's chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime moles, protozoans. Okay, and the protozoans are differentiated into four major groups. Okay. That four major groups we have already discussed. The first one is the amoeboid, second one is the flagellated, third one is the ciliated, fourth one is the sporous ones. So this is all about the kingdom protista. So but today we'll finish here and in the next class we will study about Kingdom Panzai. Thank you all.